And welcome back to The Factor on Sense. And we're looking at international news now, which is important to you. So pay attention. We're watching the tension between Iranians and police. Protests have been going on for 11 consecutive days. The collective anger comes after the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini. Police say she was arrested for, her improper, for improperly wearing her hijab. Amini spent three days in custody where family members and friends say she was repeatedly beaten and eventually she died. My next guest from the region shares how people around the world can help. Well, my thoughts are with, uh, uh, first of all, with Iranian people, Iranian women in particular. And uh, it's, it's just heartbreaking because this is not the first time. And um, I fear that it might not be the last time that these things happen. Do you think this protest, this uprising, especially from, from uh, women there in Iran, uh, do you think this one will be different? This one will make a difference? Um, I would hope so. I hope so. I mean, women, 50% of the population, per perhaps more, uh, are women. And uh, they're some of the most educated uh, 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 percentage in Iran. Uh, uh, universities, uh, uh, over 50% are, are, are women attend the universities. Uh, so these are, and the younger generation, they're all younger generation. And um, so uh, this kind of mass demonstration, a, a, a gender-oriented demonstration, uh, could have a, an effect that uh, maybe other times uh, we haven't seen. And now you have women all across the country, some cutting their hair, some burning their hijabs, their head coverings, mm -hmm. and sending a strong message, I'm sure, the government has responded in kind by shutting down the internet yeah. and putting police out there to try and, and stop uh, these protests. Uh, yes, yes. The, I mean, the first thing they do is cut the uh, means of communication, uh, internet um, or, or, or social media uh, uh, outlets, Instagram, uh, 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 Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, so people can't communicate with each other. Uh, and then, of course, the 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 paramilitary police. These are these are a different faction than the regular police. Uh, that they go out in the streets, especially for whenever there's demonstrations, and um, they just just let them loose in the in the in the population, and they can um, they can do whatever they want. They can arrest people. They can beat people up. They can kill people, and. Um, and then we'll have to see uh, how far they're going to take it. What can Americans do uh, here in Texas and around the country to get involved, to make a difference, to be heard as well by the government there that this is wrong? Well, and just whatever we're doing, um, uh, just keep the keep the name alive. And uh, uh, we have a very uh, short um new cycle um, uh, because things happen so fast and things get shuffled and, and it gets forgotten. All right. Raman Samandari, thank you for joining us on The Factor Uncensored and for your insight on thank the situation, so Sheriff. Thank you.